Hey, I'm in front of a 2013 BMW X5 with a dirty eye here. Huh? And uh, yeah, we installed a new valve cover on this because we had uh, rough running issues. And uh, the old one was for sure bad. And we had also a blown rear main seal. Replaced that already. And uh, I want to go through the valve cover PCV system so you can actually see a little better how it works. Stay with me. So here, me and my partner Larry, we cut this open for you. And uh, most of the time, let me grab this. Most of the time, this guy here fails. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, here you see it. See, it's broken. And this is basically designed to, to close this, this valve. Yeah, it's like, like this, there's a spring sitting in here. And it basically closes this, open and closes throughout. Misconception is, also, let me see if I have the cap somewhere. Uh, not greatly prepared right now. Where is the cap? Huh? Here it is. So, misconception is that this cap actually lets air in and out it doesn't it, uh, it is basically only an air inlet to regulate uh, the chamber itself here when when this is all sitting in here together you have a, a little chamber here you know when it expands and contracts opening the valve closing the valve so it allows for movement, basically. That is that part. Then uh, this goes through here, all the way to this side, connected to your crankcase. And then here, you have two more valves. This one here, a uh, holes that are actually connected through the head to the intake section. Okay. And those two valves here, or let me say three, work in conjunction this one here is the one that goes to your intake pipe like air inlet pipe back here right there and they work in conjunction to regulate your your pressure of your crankcase somewhere around zero to minus 0 0.5 psi and that's basically that part so now you wonder well there's another one back here that's an independent chamber that has nothing to do with the valve cover really itself or with the PCV system it's a vacuum chamber that gets driven here is your your wastegate vacuum lines and uh, that gets driven by your vacuum pump 
this line here goes down to your vacuum pump that sits right here and it's basically driven off a, a chain and then there's another one line on that vacuum pump that basically goes to your brake booster over here it's this line All right goes to your brake booster has nothing to do with it but what can happen is and that has also this this valve cover had two issues that we discovered later on you can already tell here on the oil in this chamber there should be no oil in this chamber when you pull this off and you see oil in here that means somewhere inside somewhere inside this chamber is cracked then vacuum sucks oil in from your crankcase and you also have unmetered air going in so you don't want that if you see oil in there also have to replace the valve cover we replaced the valve cover on this car the person bought a super cheap one on amazon like and subscribe and the car has excessive vacuum still in the crankcase and uh, our conclusion is that we're gonna do this whole job now again buy a new valve cover i would always recommend not totally necessary like oem but at least something like reputable like l-ring or something like this that's usually what we use we never had problems with those but this one here now is a super cheap no name and uh yeah problematic massive vacuum keep in mind that if you have excessive vacuum in your crankcase that you running the risk of blowing or not blowing because you have vacuum like destroying your front and rear main seal which we did on this car the car came in with a viney rear, rear main seal and uh, this is gone now because this, the seal is new but we still have excessive vacuum that needs to be addressed and uh, we're going to not run the engine with the cap on i'm probably gonna leave the this hose off just to move it out of the shop until the part arrives if we don't do it today and uh, drive the car out of the shop with the the section here open something isn't right here with the valves inside it builds up little vacuum here but not really that much only when you really plug it but then when we open the cap we still have like excessive vacuum there should be way more flow here to regulate that something wrong with those with those uh, with those little valves here those guys those two so yeah, that's basically it. I just thought that might be interesting for you guys to see how this looks when you actually cut it open. Probably not so much people did that yet. And uh, enjoy your day. Thanks for subscribing, by the way.